Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Han and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna learn about Silk.net. If you don't know, Silk.net is a cross-platform binding for graphic library like OpenGL, DirectX, and Vulkan. And also it has bindings for GLFW and SDL. So we're gonna start our project here. It's an empty project, a console project. So you know, if you create a new project, you will see it like this. Choose this one, console app. Choose the name and the framework is .NET 6. So since I already have one, I'm gonna right click on the project, not the solution, just right click on the project and manage Nugget package. And we're gonna look for silk.net. Scroll to the very top and make sure you choose this one, silk.net only, because this contains every single package that you need, including windowing and everything. And if you check on the install tab, it's installing everything for you. Okay, so we're gonna close the Nugget package manager and we're gonna create a new class. So this will be our base class for everything. So we're gonna call it my game. So just in case you're gonna making a new game, so we're gonna create a new game class. And on program of our game is equal to my game or my app if you really want to. I'm gonna create a new instance and then we're gonna create a function public void start. So this is gonna be the basic uh, starting function. Oh wait, we have to put this thing inside the class. There we go. So we can call game start. So this is just the basic structure of our project. And we're gonna start using self.net. So we're gonna prepare a window. So I window. So as you can see the Intel essence already prepared for us self.net windowing. Window. And then uh, we're gonna create a constructor for our class. So this is the constructor. We're gonna add our window is equal to window, and in this case it's self .net windowing that window and dot create, and then we're gonna choose the window option dot default. So let me explain what's going on here. So we're gonna call a function from this namespace static class, the window class, and we're gonna call create. This is a static method, so you don't have to create an instance of this class. And we're choosing the window option dot default now. And the function start, we're just gonna call window dot run. And there you go, you have created a new window with everything that you need. OpenGL is already prepared inside this window, we just have to access it. So how do we access the OpenGL of this window? So we're gonna store a simple field here. I'm gonna call it, wait, GL. No, it's not here, oh, there you go. So so from silk.net.opengl, so we're gonna use OpenGL from silk, I'm gonna call this GL with capital G and non capital L. GL is equal to, we can do it like GL.get API window as the context, or you can do it like uh, window.create open GL. Both are the same. We're gonna use it like this, and we're gonna now we're going to set up the rendering of the window. So window dot render. There we go. Just press it and plus equal. And there's a suggestion. I'm going to press tab and enter. It will create a new function here. So this is the function that will get called when our window is rendering. So we're going to do gl dot clear color. Just a simple one. So we're going to 0.5f, 0.5f, and 0.5f, 
and alpha 1 and don't forget to gl dot clear clear buffer max dot color buffer bit so this is what silk does for you it creates a simple mask here everything is grouped very nicely and yeah i think that's it so we're gonna oh wait we have to i think we have to get the gl somewhere else yeah we have to get the gl somewhere else when the window is already loaded so we're gonna window dot load plus equal window load so this will load the gl when the window is ready and there we go our window is now gray so as you can see when dragging it's not filling everything but when you release it it will draw everything and that's just because window is like that on the windows os on linux it's just fine so what we can do to fix that is create a render on separate thread but we're gonna do that on another video for now we're gonna try to set the window title here so what can we do to manipulate the window what we can do is manipulate this default argument so we're gonna call it width and then open parenthesis and then here we can if we tap control space we can see everything that we can manage here so we're gonna change the title is equal to hello world and this green squiggly lines means there's a warning it tells us that the OpenGL, the GL here is nullable it's possible that it can be null before exiting the constructor so we're gonna do that it's gonna put a question mark there that means GL can be a null and right here if GL is not null we're gonna call them and that removes every warning you can remove these unused imports and the next part is gonna learn how to make an input so how do we handle keyboard input and etc and before that I'm gonna test our windowing and it says hello world so we're gonna create a new input system so in silk.net it handles every keyboard separately and every mouse separately what we can do is we're gonna create a for each but before that we're gonna create an input context from our window is equal to window.createInput and it will create an i input context for our window and then window dot uh wait we're gonna do it for each for our keyboard in input context dot keyboards so for every keyboard that we have we're gonna create an event for them so keyboard dot key down plus equal keyboard key down so we're gonna test something here uh, so to print out the key all we have to do is console that right line and arc2 that's basically the only thing that we need and if we call uh, with run as you can see here there's an error the input context needs the window to be initialized so what we can do is just call window to initialize and yep that's that's supposed to be it so silk.nav actually calls the initialize okay so we're gonna test it it works everything that we press will appear in the console so what's happening is we call this initialize but there's also here window.run also called the initialize but self.net understands that it's already been called it doesn't have to call it again here so if you don't do it here it will be called here so that's basically what you can do with self.net we have tried to call the gl functions i have created input and we have created the window with specific options there's also a full conversion of this thing so yeah 
that's basically it for this video don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe and if you would like to see more of this kind of video leave them in the comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one